guys welcome back to my channel I am TK Beauty and excuse me for not showing my appearance I am looking a hot mess but today's video is not about me it's about the things that I have in front of me and so today we are back with the makeup declutter and we have a hodgepodge of things going on in front of me so today we're going to be decluttering loose powders and face powders primers concealers and we're gonna do foundations today so before we jump into this video if you guys are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button click that notification bell also so that you'll know every time I upload a new video so let's just jump right on into the video the first primer that I have here is by elf it is the power grip primer this is the green one I picked this one up actually first and I can't necessarily necessarily say that I love this because I feel like this leaves my skin feeling oily I don't know so we'll see we'll see I, I am going to keep this in my collection just to kind of continue to use this okay the next primer I have is also by elf this is the power grip primer and it has four percent niacinamide in it I bought this one because it has the niacinamide in it but again I still feel like when I use this it leaves me oily it doesn't leave me as oily as the green one but it still leaves me kind of oily but I, I think I would prefer this one over that one but I'm gonna keep this one as well the next primer slash sunscreen that I have it's by elf as well this is the sun touchable this one has 30 SPF in it I cannot say that I necessarily love this I guess I haven't necessarily used this enough to say whether I love it or not um, I used this a, a few times last year I mean it wasn't anything to kind of like brag home about but I am going to keep this in my collection just so I can get a little bit more use out of it this year to really see if I love it so the next primer I've had this in my collection for a while as you guys can see it's almost empty but this is the Becca backlight priming filter base oh this might be might be time for this to go. I put a little bit on the back of my hand. I think, I think I'm gonna keep this and use the rest of this because I really did like this primer. I don't know if you guys can see it. I did put it on the back of my hand. It kind of gives like a little bit of a, a shine or a glow to the skin. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this so that I can use the rest of that. Okay, the next primer that I have, this is the Embrolease Late cream concentrate if I'm saying that correctly I know this is supposed to be for all skin types but specifically for dry skin I really do like this primer I've had this in my collection for a while but I do like to use this I would definitely repurchase this because I feel like this definitely gives my skin hydration definitely helps my makeup to last so I like this so I am going to be keeping this okay another primer that I have recently talked about this is by be pure this is the essentially ageless blur face primer and I was a little bit skeptical about getting it because it was supposed to um, kind of blur the face and whenever I think about blur I always think about oily skin and again I'm dry I feel like it does blur the skin really really well and I just like it I feel like again my foundation it helps my foundation to last on the skin so yeah I like this I got this from the Dollar Tree and I am keeping this okay the next primer that I have I've also had this in my collection for a while but as you guys can see two more squeezes of this and this will be gone this is the Too Faced hangover replenishing face primer base and I feel like this is a really good primer for dry skin and I definitely will be purchased this at some point but this is almost gone so I'm gonna keep this to use the rest of this okay the next primer that I have is by heart candy this is their smoothing primer balm I didn't love this I used a little bit of this and I think when I first used it I, I felt like it was good but then as I kept getting some use out of it I I just didn't like it that much and I stopped really kind of gravitating towards this so I am going to be letting this go the next primer I have this is the pixie skin treats h2o skin drink pure hydration gel primer um, this isn't bad I don't think I think I've used and my packaging is is dirty but this isn't bad um, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this and then the next primer that I have is the milk hydro grip primer 
and I do like this. I only have the small size of this and as you guys can see, I have pretty much used a lot of it. So I am going to keep this in my collection so that I can use this up. Another primer that I have, it's by Urban Decay. This is the All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. It says Dewy Foundation Grip. So it's supposed to prep, smooth, and hydrate the skin, which I feel like this does exactly that. I feel like this is also a good primer for all skin types but for sure for dry skin so if you somebody like me have dry skin this is a really good primer and as you guys can see a couple more squeezes of this and this will be gone but this will definitely be a repurchase for me because I really do like this this one kind of has like that silicone not like that silicone texture but it feels really really nice on the skin really hydrating really smooth so i really do like this i'm keeping and then a recent primer that i got i just talked about this in a vlog that you guys will see soon i recently picked this up this is the heart candy sheer envy collagen primer this is supposed to visibly volumize and help to rejuvenate the skin i haven't used this yet because this is a recent purchase so of course i'm going to be keeping this so i can see if i like it and then the last primer that i have it's by huda beauty this is their water jelly hydrating primer and y'all i love this stuff y'all can see how much of this stuff i have used again really really good primer if you're someone like me that has dry skin this is it right here it's again kind of like that gel feel to it really hydrating it feels really nice and smooth and so this is definitely going to help prep your skin for your makeup so yes really really good for especially for dry skin so i'm keeping the very first concealer that i pulled out so as you guys can see i have these little trays full of like concealers but i also have um concealers that i use every day that stays in my organizer on my dresser so so anyway the first concealer that I pulled out, it is by e.l.f. This is the Deep Chestnut Concealer and I'm going to just give a little dab of like my concealers. That's the color there. It's kind of my skin tone, but I feel like it gives me a little bit of a highlighted look underneath my eye, but not too highlighted, which is what I like. So. Yes, I thought I had at least one more of these in my collection because at one point I was truly stocked up on these. So I need to get another one because I think this is the only one that I have left and I don't like that. So, uh, but this is again, deep chestnut and I think this, yeah, this is the, the matte finish. So I like the matte better than I like the hydrating concealers by e.l.f. So I definitely need to repurchase at least one more of these. Keeping, I'm keeping. The next concealer that I have, it's by Dior. This is their Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer. And the shade is not on here, but I think it was either number five or number six. But this is the concealer. I love the packaging on here. And actually, this is like one of my favorite concealers. Um, this is my very first Dior concealer and it did not disappoint me. This one is a little bit uh, darker, I would say, than the e.l.f. one. This is the Dior one, but still like, when I just want something underneath my eyes that's kind of like my skin tone or just a, just gives me a little brightness under the eye, this does that for me, but I really truly like this. I'm keeping. Okay, now I have a couple of uh, P. Louise eyeshadow bases. I have it in shade number three and then I have it in shade number two. So number two, of course, is lighter and then number three is pretty much my skin complexion let me show you guys okay so this is number two and this is number three so you guys can see i mean this is coming up much lighter than what it really is but it's definitely lighter than this i typically use number three i bought number two just in case i wanted to use like a brighter like eyeshadow or something to 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 kind of help bring out the color but i really don't gravitating up to number two like that really not number three either but 
I'm keeping them both in my collection because I do use them. I don't use them on a regular basis, but I still like to have them and use them periodically. So I am going to be keeping both of these. This is the Ruby Kisses Concealer uh, in Orange. So this is a corrector. I don't really use correctors like that. I feel like I, I'm not gonna say I don't need them, but I just don't use them like that. But I'm keeping this one because now I'm saying I don't use it, then I'll be having to use it. So I'm keeping it. <laughs> okay, I do have a eyeshadow. I have two eyeshadow primers in here, actually, which I don't really use eyeshadow primers like that. So um, I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in original. Well, both of these are in original. So this one is really old. So I'm going to throw that in the trash that can go. This one I'm probably going to keep just because... It's hard for me to get rid of it. Even though I don't use eyeshadow primer like that, I might reach for it here and there. So I'm gonna keep this. This is a backup of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. This is in number 146, which is tan. So this is a backup of one that I'm already using. I am definitely going to be keeping this. And then I do have the Born This Way Concealer in Deep. I don't know if I really, this is definitely a concealer that I would have to use a lighter highlighter with in order to give me the shade that I'm looking for so I do like this um, so I am going to keep it the next two concealers that I have is by Mac these are holy grail concealers for me when it comes to my brows I don't use this anywhere else but to carve out my brows and again these are the studio finish concealers in NC 50 and NC 40 y'all I, I love them and I know they're looking similar on camera but this one is lighter than this one let me swatch them on my hand this is nc40 this is nc50 so you guys can really see that there is a difference even though they're kind of looking the same in the pan actually i like to mix the two to use um, when i'm carving out my brows the next concealer we have is by house labs and this is in medium deep golden y'all I like this. This House Labs one, it puts me in the mind of the Dior one. As y'all can see, y'all see the packaging. It's similar, but different. The House Labs has, it's a little bit taller than the Dior one. I'm gonna swatch this one so you guys can see it. But I love this. It just gives me that natural look underneath the eyes, which I really like. If you're going for that no makeup makeup look, um, both the House Labs and the Dior will give you that. This is the House Labs concealer really really nice again it gives me just enough oomph underneath my eye and so yeah i'll be keeping this one okay the next concealer that i'm going to talk about is by casas i really truly like this concealer this is one of my favorites i will definitely be repurchasing this at some point i got this in the shade 7.5 i don't know if i would i guess i would get 7.5 but i think i would want to try eh, maybe i was gonna say maybe a shade above but this is yeah i think maybe i would want to see about swatching another shade before i repurchase this shade because as you guys can see this one is a little darker this is the costest one but um i don't know i feel like i would maybe want this one in a different shade but i really truly do like this concealer it doesn't crease underneath my eye or anything and i really do like it i didn't think i was going to like this like that i think this was my second costas product the stuff that i bought i really do like by costas so. elf uh oh i do have another matte finish elf concealer in deep chestnut so I do have another one so I don't have to run out and get another one right now but this one is pretty much almost probably empty I'm sure but that's it I think I showed you guys this one if not that's it right there oh my god it's just like the perfect shade for me I love that I absolutely love that like I could mix these two together and just get the perfect perfect shade for me so okay, I'm keeping I have a Tarte Shape Tape uh, concealer this is their radiant concealer and I got it in the shade, girl, what shade is this? 53 in I believe I'll put the correct number on the screen I picked this up late last year and I feel like I do like this but I do feel like I like the original shape tape concealer better that's it right there and again I probably could have 
gotten like a different shade but I could again mix the elf with this one um, but I do like this but I do think I prefer just a regular tape shape concealer over this the next concealer that we have I don't think I have really used this concealer like that this is the Sephora best skin ever this is a full coverage foundation I'm sorry this is a full coverage concealer and I got mine in 35 in and I, I don't know why I haven't reached for this like that I don't know maybe because and even though I don't discriminate when it comes to my concealers I feel like maybe this is a too full coverage for me, but this is it here. Color is perfect. I just, I don't know. I just don't gravitate towards this like that, but I am going to keep it to get some more use out of it. Okay, the next concealer that I have, this is a Holy Grail concealer for me. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in number 390. Love this love 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 this this is this will always probably be a repurchase for me because i mean fenty did that with this that's it right there i absolutely love this the shade is absolutely beautiful again i could probably mix this with a lighter concealer but the color on its own is beautiful love this i'm keeping this okay and then the next concealer i have which i love this as well this is a really good drugstore concealer again this is by maybelline this is the instant age rewind concealer in number 146 is it 146 i'm sorry it's in it's in tan again i have a backup of this one because this one is almost gone but love this y'all see that color absolutely beautiful i'm keeping this i'm keeping and then i have the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer this is in the shade chestnut i did really really like this i've had this in my collection so long there's not a lot of product left in here but y'all this this stinks yeah it's time for this to go so we're going to be letting her go but the co coverage is absolutely beautiful i would definitely repurchase this because i really truly did love this and then the next concealer that i have it is by huda beauty this is their faux filter concealer again i don't think i have gravitated to this like i thought i was like i thought this would probably be halfway gone by now and i do like it i just I, again, I feel like it's kind of the same way with the Best Skin uh, Concealer by Sephora. This might be a little too full coverage for me, but I do like it and I have mine in the shade Crumble. Again, beautiful shade. I just haven't gravitated towards this like I thought I was, but guess what we're going to do? We're going to keep her because we're going to be using her and uh, I'll keep you guys posted throughout the year. And then the last two concealers that I have, no, they're not the last two concealers that I have. I'm alive. Okay, guys, so the next two concealers I have, I really, really like these. I want to say I picked these up this year from the Dollar Tree, and I love these. I have one in Light Beige, and then I have one in Mocha. So this is Light Beige, and this is Mocha. I mean, really, really beautiful. I like to go in with Mocha first, and then go on top of that with Light Beige, and it just gives me the perfect like brightness underneath my eyes i love these so much that i've repurchased them from the dollar tree i have light beige and then i recently found mocha um so i am super super excited to have these and so of course i'll be keeping these in my collection okay the next concealer that i have is by juvia's place this is in number 12 and oh my goodness when i first got this y'all i was using this up now i will say i do believe this is a full coverage concealer maybe medium to full coverage i love the shade of this really really pretty so i'm going to be keeping this in my collection okay and we have two more concealers so i have this neutrogena radiant cream concealer in golden this is a medium deep and um the packaging definitely puts you in the mindset of the nars radiant uh, concealer i don't love this i like it i don't love it this is it right here really really nice color it's not a bad concealer it's just not one that i think i would probably repurchase again if i had to choose between this and the nars one of course i'm gonna go with nars but i feel like for the money this is not bad i am gonna be keeping this in my collection and then the very last concealer that i have for you guys it is by pat mcgrath this is the skin fetish concealer in md23 y'all can see that i have 
use this concealer up. I just really need to repurchase this. I mean, because, girl, the brush, where's the brush? The brush has fallen apart, okay? I mean, it's time for me to get rid of this. It's really just time for me to repurchase this. I don't have anything in here, y'all. Uh, but this is it here. This is the Pat McGrath concealer and I can tell you for certainty I have enjoyed this I am going to go ahead and toss this in the garbage because it is pretty much gone and my packaging is broke so this can go but I will be repurchasing this the first two powders that I have here are both from Revolution and I have one in Banana Deep and then I have the other in Terracotta. I haven't used these like that, but I am going to be keeping both of these. I do have the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in Banana. If you guys can see that. I don't know, I may get rid of this one because I don't really reach for this like that. Okay, the next powder that I have, it is a favorite of mine. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in Honey. Love this. I definitely want to kind of branch out and try some different shades, So, but I have this in Honey, so love this. The next setting powder that I have, it is by Urban Decay. It's the All Nighter Setting Powder, and honestly, y'all, I mean, the packaging is stunning. I love the packaging of this love it love it but i have not really used this i've probably used this less than five times but i spent my money on this y'all so i got to get some use out of this so i'm keeping it okay the next powder that i have is from the sephora collection uh, i like to use this to powder over my face um, and this is in deep and as you guys can see i do have a backup of this powder i do want to try some of the different shades that they have but y'all, I've been using this powder up so much so that my packaging is tore up. So I really do like the Sephora powder, so I'll be keeping both of these. Okay, and this should have been with the primers. I'm not sure if I've shown this already, but this is kind of like a yummy Skin Universal Balm. And so I, I do use this as like a primer. As you guys can see, I have been using this product up but I am going to be keeping this. And I do wanna try the actual like foundation that she has for this, so, uh, but I'm keeping this. Another powder that I have, I picked this up recently, I believe last month. This is the Infused Pressed Face Powder. And I picked this up from the Dollar Tree because I've been hearing nothing but good things about it. And, um, so far I do like it. It's supposed to provide a smooth matte finish and it's supposed to help set your makeup and to control shine. Now, I don't have a lot of shine. I, the most shine I get is probably on the tip of my nose, but I just wanted to try this out. I'm gonna be keeping this. I also have the Translucent Setting Powder by the Sephora Collection. I picked this up during the last Sephora VIB sale, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be keeping this. Um, I do really like this a lot, and I like to mix this with another powder, which I'll be showing you guys here, so do like this okay the next powder I have here is the Laura Mercier this is their this is her translucent powder this is the small size of the um, Laura Mercier powder I think this is okay so I am going to be keeping it I do have the Milani translucent banana powder it's not a whole lot left in here really this is the packaging on it. I've had this in my collection for a while, so I am going to let this go. I have the Dior Backstage Face and Body No Powder. Powder, no powder. Oh, y'all, I love this. I've had to stop myself from using this. Y'all can see I've hit pan on this. This will definitely be a repurchase for me. I really, really like this. Like those days when I just want like just a powder and maybe a light concealer i would use the dior concealer for that as well and you know just maybe a little brow or something and go on about my day this works amazing i really really like this so this is a keep and i do need to repurchase this okay the next powder that i have is the Too faced born this way ethereal setting powder um i haven't used this in quite some time so i don't really remember 
um, if I liked it or not. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this in my collection and try to get some more use out of this. I picked up the Easy Bake and Snatch powder by Huda Beauty. I picked it up during the Sephora sale, the last Sephora sale. And this is in Blondie. And this is how Blondie looks. Let me turn this camera down, light down so you guys can see. And y'all, I really do like this powder. I like to mix it with the Sephora collection powder. So I go in with this first and then go on top with this. And I really do like this mixture together. So I'm keeping. And then I have another powder by Huda Beauty. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in Cinnamon Bun. Love, 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 love this powder. I like to mix this one too with the Fenty Beauty shade and honey. I definitely will be repurchasing this. Now this is messy. Most of the powders are messy, but it does have a perfumey scent. Um, eventually it goes away, but if you don't like that perfumey scent, you won't like this, but I feel like the shade is kind of dark, which is why I like mixing it with the Fenty Beauty one. But I definitely want to repurchase this. I just will repurchase it in a different shade that's a little bit lighter because this is dark. But I do really, really like this powder. So I'm keeping this. Okay, more powders. Oh, and we got a couple more concealers too, y'all. Let me do the concealers first. So I forgot about these concealers. I got uh, three more concealers. This is the NK Perfection Multi-Use Concealer. This is supposed to have super coverage. I don't love this, but I love the shade of this. It's a really beautiful shade. I think I'm going to keep it and just mix it with some of my other concealers. Okay, and then I have another e.l.f. concealer. This is in Rich Chocolate. I think this is the hydrating one. Yeah, I don't like the hydrating one like I like the matte, but I do like the shade. Um, I do like that shade. So what I'm gonna do, because it's not a lot of this left, I am going to keep it and finish it off. And then the last concealer that I have, it's by Absolute New York. This is their 3D Cover Concealer. This is full coverage. I'm not sure if I've used this at all, but that's the shade there. Um, I think I would probably repurchase this in a different color, but I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so back to the powders. I have the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. I don't think I've really used this like that. You know, I will be honest, Hourglass, and I have a few Hourglass products, not a lot. I think I have this I know I have one of their face palettes and that might be it, but I don't really gravitate towards Hourglass like that. But I am gonna go ahead and keep this powder. I be trying to jump on the Hourglass band, but I just haven't gotten there yet. There's the, the two products that I have from them. I, uh, I don't use like that. And I do like the face palette, but I still, I'm not drawn to it like that. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in my collection. I have another Laura Mercier powder in medium deep. I don't think I really care for this. That's probably why it's still sitting in here. Yeah, I'm gonna let this go because I'm not using this. Child, let's take another face. I'm gonna let that go. And then I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I don't know if I gravitated to this like that. Oh, wait, I like this. This is pretty. When would I use this though? This is kind of, I feel like this is kind of like a highlighter though. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this just so I can play around with this some more. Oh, and then the last thing that I have is the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder in medium deep. Maybe I did like this because I bought, I have the full size one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one since I'm letting the smaller one go and I'm gonna just play around with this and see. And then I think the last setting powder that we have before we go into foundations is gonna be the soft focus um, finishing powder. I have not gravitated towards this. This is from Black Radiance. I really wanted to like this. I really did. I think I'm gonna have to let this go because I don't reach for this like that. I have this tray here full of foundations, but I also have a number of foundations that are in front of me. So before we go through this tray, we're gonna go through the foundations in front of me. So the first foundation that I have in front of me is by Fenty Beauty. This is the filter. Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 420. 
and I don't know if I really love this like that. I think this was probably my least favorite out of the um, Fenty foundations. You can't even see the color, honestly. Anyway, I'm going to keep it because I feel like I can still mix this in with some of my other Fenty foundations or some of my other foundations in general. The next foundation I have, y'all. This is a favorite of mine. I didn't think I was going to love this like I do. And now you can find these in TJ Maxx. So I'm definitely going to be looking for my shade in this. This is, I have the shade Tan 72. This is the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. And y'all, this is absolutely gorgeous on the skin. It looks so pretty. That's the shade there. I'm not going to be swatching all of the foundations. It's just too many to do. But this one, since it's easy for me to kind to swatch it first of all Kat Von D I don't think I've tried a foundation that Kat Von D or the KVD line has not done well with because they did an exceptionally good job with this foundation so I'm gonna be keeping it okay the next foundation that I have this is by Maybelline this is their instant age rewind perfector in one glow makeup this is in number three medium deep and because I like the concealer so much I thought that I would give this a try I have really only used this like one time the verdict is still out on this one so I will keep you guys posted on this I can't necessarily say that I like it or I don't right now because I've really only used it one time so I'm gonna be keeping this to get more use out of it so I'll be updating you guys along the way this is the NARS tinted glow booster I got this in Barbado, Barbado, I don't know. But I do like this. When I'm using my NARS foundation, I like to add a couple of drops in this just to give me a little bit of a glow to the skin. It's, it's, not a, a, it's not a lot of glow, but it gives you a little bit. So I do like this. And I like to mix this in with some of my like CC creams also. So this is a keep. Okay, from e.l.f. I have the Flawless Finish Foundation. This is supposed to be oil free and supposed to have a satin finish. I am in the shade Brulee. This is like a deep tan. And it says with olive undertones, I typically like to go for something that has more of a neutral undertone because if it's too golden, I'm gonna look a mess. If it's red, I'm gonna look a mess. So I like I need to have a neutral undertone. But this is the foundation. I wanna say I did like this. I haven't used this in a while, but I'm gonna be keeping this. A new product that I picked up recently, this is by L'Oreal. This is the True Match Lumi Glotion. This says if you want a natural glow enhancer, this is in number 904, which is Deep Glow. And I, what I like to do with this is to mix it in with like a CC cream or foundation. I am going to be keeping this. So far, so good. I really do like this. I have another NARS foundation. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I have mine in the shade Makayo, which is medium deep. I'm not a big fan of this. This is probably the first NARS foundation that I do not love. I barely gotten any use out of this. I'm going to keep it because I've spent my money on it and I'm thinking I'm going to probably just try to mix this with some of my other foundations and stuff just so that I can kind of use this up. This is not going to be a repurchase for me but I am going to be keeping it. Also a recent purchase. This is I've had this before. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in number N8 which is a neutral medium deep. I've had this before. I did enjoy the foundation so I just went on ahead and repurchased it so I have have not used this one yet but of course we will be using this another foundation this is the Pat McGrath Labs skin fetish sublime perfection foundation that was a mouthful and I got mine in medium deep which is number 26 I love this foundation y'all this would definitely be a repurchase for me because it's not a full coverage foundation I I do like again like with my concealers I don't discriminate against, you know, sheer to full coverage, but I, I do have a tendency to gravitate more towards sheer to medium coverage foundations. That's just my thing. The more skin like it is and feels, I like that. And I really like this because of that. So I'm going to be keeping this. This is Black Opal. I have quite a few of these. This is their Skin Perfecting Stick Foundation. This is probably like my favorite stick foundation, period. It's drugstore it just works this is like nine or ten dollars black opal just 
when it comes to their stick foundations, there, there's really not another one that I need. I've bought some, but I, those don't even compare to this one. This is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And y'all, this shade is so gorgeous. I would say this is a medium to full coverage foundation stick. I just love it. It just melts into my skin. My skin looks so good and it goes on so nice and smooth. This is it. If you're looking for a stick foundation, you do not have to spend the money for the high end when you can get it from Black Opal. My number one foundation stick, Black Opal. Love this. And I really like to use this in the winter time because um, it just, it looks good and it also protects my skin against this hulk that we have here in Chicago so the next foundation that I have is by elf this is the elf halo glow liquid filter this is the glow booster for radiant skin so it's kind of like the the boosters that I have from NARS you can use this as a highlighter you can use this on its own and you can also mix this in with your foundation so you have a lot of different uses for this I think I do like this. It's been a minute since I've used this. That's why I need to use what's in my collection, y'all. So I'm keeping this. The next foundation that I have, which I was really surprised that I love this as much as I have, as much as I did. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Y'all, I love this foundation. This is so bomb by Clinique. I'm telling y'all, Clinique has definitely taken me by surprise because I have used some Clinique products in the past that I just did not love. They have really surprised me and I've been loving like their mascara, this, this foundation. I have their makeup remover balm like Clinique. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is in the shade uh, number 26 Amber. And I love the applicator that it has on here. I'll swatch the shade so you guys can see it. I think I have another shade as well. Let me see. But that's the shade there. And I just love this, y'all. This just makes my skin look amazing. And so I'm keeping her. The next foundation that we have is by House Labs. This is their Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. And I have mine in 480 Medium Deep Neutral. Yes, 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 yes. I believe this is a medium coverage foundation. This looks so beautiful on the skin. It just, uh, we're keeping, we're keeping. I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. It is just that. It is the Flawless Foundation. And I have mine in number 13. Like I've, I've always said, I don't know why it has taken me so long to buy this foundation, probably because of the price but it is really worth the money. I just don't want to pay the money to get to get this again, but I definitely would be repurchasing this again. Because I want to say this is medium to maybe full coverage. Love this keeping. I also have the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. I do like this foundation. I'm in the shade number 50 in. I do like this, but I don't feel like I gravitate towards this like that either. Not like I thought I was going to. Like I said, I've used this a couple of times. It is a really nice foundation. I am going to be keeping this. The next foundation that I have is by KVD as well. This is the True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. I am in tan 078. This is the tip on there when I tell y'all I love this foundation I I need to repurchase this because this is about gone like I've literally have to like really squeeze squeeze to get out because it's not a lot in here but when I say this is a beautiful foundation I don't I didn't hear a lot of talk about this foundation but honey KVD did her thing with this if I see this anywhere I definitely need to repurchase this because this was bomb this was bomb and I think this was like a full coverage foundation if I'm not mistaken but the coverage is just gonna give you a beautiful flawless face so I love this I'm keeping because I need to get the last three or four drops out of this because this was good and then the next foundation that we have in front of us this is the NARS naturally radiant longwear foundation and I'm in Macau love this foundation do you hear me 
NARS did they think with this foundation for keeping. This is the Sephora Matte Powder Foundation in 57N. This is a bit dark for me. Should have went up a shade in this because it is dark. Um, I can definitely make this work, but outside of the actual shade, I love the way this goes onto the skin. I love the way that this feels and I love the way that this looks. So at least I'm gonna be keeping it for now. I don't know when, but I'm gonna go and just swatch some other shades to see what is a better match for me so but i love this i do i love it now we're starting in the organizer first foundation i have here it is by smashbox this is called halo this is a healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer and this is in dark neutral again i did not hear a lot of talk about this but honey people slept on this because this is amazing very skin like i feel like this would be good to add the booster drops from either elf or nars to so I'm definitely going to be keeping this. This is definitely for the summertime. So I think I'm going to be really pulling this out this spring and summer. The summer for sure. I'm going to be wanting to use this a little bit more. So I'm keeping. And something that I recently picked up. It is the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. It says this is full coverage, long lasting, dewy finish. And it does have a SPF of 30 in it. And I did use this recently. I do like it. I tried the underpainting technique with this and I do like it. Um, I think I talk about this in my most recent vlog that went up. Uh, I'll link it in the cards if you guys haven't seen it, but I did talk about it because I wore this to church. I do feel like this is kind of light for my skin, but I feel like the shade after this would be too dark for me, but I am gonna keep it. I was able to kind of finesse this and make it work, so I'm gonna be keeping this in my collection. Also by e.l.f., this is their the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is the color correcting full coverage natural finish I do like this one I feel like I like this one better than this one this is supposed to be hydrating this is just uh, I guess probably like the matte version of that and I got this in the shade deep which is 540 I feel like this one is just a little bit darker than this one but I do like them both I'm gonna be keeping them both speaking of black opal I told y'all this is my number one when it comes to stick foundation so I have two more I have one in hazelnut and I have one in amber. I, I think I forgot what my shade was because I used to have all of the stick foundations and I got rid of them when I first uh, was decluttering my collection which was off camera I don't even think I had a channel at that time but but I think the beautiful bronze is really my shade but these two are beautiful and I feel like I could you know just I could use these as well it's just not that perfect shade that I like with the beautiful bronze so but I'm keeping these as well I have another stick foundation here this is by L'Oreal this is the infallible long wear shaping stick foundation this has sunscreen in it and again I mean this is this is really nice it's beautiful um, I am going to be keeping this because I do like it while we're on stick foundations I do have the Huda Beauty what is this this is the Huda Beauty stick foundation in the mocha which is 500 G and again this is beautiful y'all I'm going to be keeping this speaking of Huda Beauty I do have the Huda Beauty faux filter high coverage cream foundation in mocha which is 500 G love this that this is pretty much about gone I got a little bit left in here so I am gonna be keeping this to finish this up we have another NARS foundation this is the NARS sheer glow foundation and you already know sheer and glow and foundation is my thing and I love this I just don't like how small this bottle is for the price okay but we're keeping her because this is I love this this is in the shade Macau which is medium dark oh boy I have one more uh, black opal I think it's one more yeah have one more black opal foundation stick and this is in the shade warm almond oh this is pretty this is pretty I think I'm gonna um 
Yeah, I'm keeping this too. I'm keeping it. The next foundation we have, come on, y'all know I had to have an OG in here. This is from MAC. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC55. I love this foundation. We're keeping her. This is by NYX. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. Y'all, I love this. Um, I definitely have to use a hydrating primer with this, but I absolutely love this foundation and... I'm keeping, I'm keeping. What shade am I in? This is in the shade Warm Mahogany. Y'all wanna know another favorite foundation of mine? It is this Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. This has an F SPF of 15. This is a full coverage foundation. I am in Golden Almond, which is 6.75 love this foundation i would definitely repurchase this i am keeping this this is absolutely beautiful on the skin i have another mac studio fix fluid foundation this one is nc55 this one can go um i think well i was getting ready to say i was gonna keep the pump on it but yeah the pump done broke on off this one has been in my collection a while. I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Okay, the next foundation I have is from Juvia's Place. This is their I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation. And I am in Burkina, which is number 310. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful foundation. I'm absolutely keeping this. And this is a backup of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And I wanna say, yeah, I picked this up. They had them in Marshall, y'all, $10. I had to hop on this. But this is the backup of that. This is in uh, Amber. And so when that one is finished, I have this one. So I'm keeping, of course. And then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in 500C. And I do like this foundation. Of course, it has a pump. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be keeping this. This was a backup of the um, Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This is a medium to full coverage foundation this is in the shade chai y'all this was my favorite foundation when this thing came out do you hear me this is so beautiful on the skin child i can remove the box because i'll be using this love this foundation keeping okay and then the last two foundations that i have are both by fenty beauty this was the very first foundation that she came out with this is the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation and i'm in the shade 420 and then this one is the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating longwear foundation in the shade 420 i love them both i like to mix these two together and it just gives me the perfect finish but both of them on their own are really beautiful I am gonna have to repurchase this one and this one at some point because I'm pretty much running out of both of them but for right now I'm keeping them both in my collection that's all the foundations that I had in my organizer and that I had in front of me so we have gone through concealers foundations and setting powders today so this video is probably long but I hope that you guys have enjoyed it we did not get rid of a whole lot of products today y'all we got rid of 10 items but I feel like getting rid of anything is good for me got rid of you know 10 items that I'm not using I'm not gonna use so I'm happy with what I am keeping because I still have some products that are I'm, I'm on the verge of using up so I'm, I'm feeling really good about that so yeah guys I hope that you all enjoyed this declutter with me let me know down below if it's hard for you to get rid of your powders and foundations and concealers. I'm happy with what I'm keeping. I'm happy with what I gave away. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell and comment down below because I do love to hear from you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.